Hi everyone and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm going to make a card and I will be using this precious peony stamp set by Altenew. It's one of my favorites and I did use it uh, before in one of my videos. I will choose one of those flower clusters and I'm going to use my mystic to stamp it. This video is part of a blog hoop and today we have teamed up with my amazing friend Kathra Kusin and we join her very successful 30 days coloring challenge. If you have never played along, make sure to read all about it down below in the description area. All you have to do is to just color something just for a few minutes every day. And then you can share everything on Instagram. There are hashtags for that and you will find everything linked below. Now I have stamped with my uh, permanent ink and now I'm making sure that the ink is completely dry before I go ahead and start coloring. For coloring my flowers today I'm going to use my absolute favorite color combo for peonies. These are my Altenew alcohol markers and you can see the colors that I'm using on screen right now. Now there are many different ways to color an image. I'm not an avid colorer. I like to do things quite simple and quickly. So for, that, for today I'm using the brush strokes technique. I'm using three shades and I'm starting from darkest to lightest. I don't even go back again from lighter to darker to do even more blending. I'm going to embrace those brush strokes which are going to give a lovely look at my finished flower. Now the darker shade is always where those petals meet together and this way I create the shadows and the lighter color goes at the tip of the petal so you can see a highlight there. Now since this video is part of a blog hop, there are many giveaways and prizes. Make sure to visit my blog to learn all about it. And as I am coloring and you can see that process today, I'm going to talk a little bit about the 30 days coloring challenge by Kathura Kusin. This is the 14th monthly coloring challenge and um, they are really so much fun to join. All you have to do is to just color something, a little image. It can be anything. You can use any uh, coloring medium that you love. Then just take a photo and post it on Instagram using the hashtag. It's a great community and you will get lovely comments. And if you don't have time for every day to join, don't stress out, it's not a problem. Just pop in whenever you have time and you color something. Now I'm using the same method for each and every petal. I finished the bigger one and now I'm uh, coloring the smaller flowers and the buds. And I will go ahead and start coloring the leaves. Again for the leaves I'm going to use the brush stroke technique. And I'm using here two shades of green. Again my Altenew markers and you can see the colors that I'm using uh, here. Again I'm starting from darker to lighter and um, although these areas of the leaves are quite small I'm going to try and fit a lighter color. So in some of the petals I'm going to use three shades of green. But uh, I really like this color combo of the two darker shades so mainly I'm going to stick with that. So today I had a very relaxing day and played along with my markers and this lovely image. Usually I make many cards for one video, but today I thought I will lay back, just play and have fun while joining the 30 days coloring challenge. I like to pop my images on my cards, that's why I will use the matching die to cut out this lovely image. And then I will use my mini die cutting machine, this is by Altenew, and I'm going to run it through. So I will end up having a lovely focal point for my card. Now I'm going to work on the background for this flower, so I have a small white panel here. I'm going to place this Altenew stencil on top, secure it at the back with some purple tape, and then I'm going to apply on top some embossing paste with my spatula. I'm not going to cover it up completely and I'm not going for a super neat result. I just want to have embossing paste here and there for more interest. I will peel off the stencil and you can see that I have a white on white effect that adds texture but at the same time it's very subtle so it doesn't turn my background to be too busy. Now while the embossing paste is still wet I'm going to add some glitter on top. The glitter is going to stick where the embossing paste is and um, when it dries it's going to stay put. 
And if you like the look but don't like using glitter, then you can always use glitter paste, which is going to give you the same results without the mess of glitter. And finally it is time to put my card together. I used foam squares at the back of my flower cluster. I'm going to stick this panel on top of a green card base by using foam tape at the back. And the flowers are going on top. I am playing a little bit with the placement there. And uh, all I have to do to finish it off now is to add the sentiment. For that I went with You Are Amazing. And this sentiment comes from the Sentiment Strips stamp set. It's an absolute favorite. I use it again and again since it comes with sentiments for pretty much any occasion. I have stamped that with black ink and I'm going to stick it there. And then I'm going to add some finishing touches, some tiny little gems here and there. Cards with flowers are not just pretty, they fit any occasion, so sometimes I like to leave them blank and when an occasion comes up, I can always stick a sentiment on top. So here are some close-up photos. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget to leave me a comment, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you all next time.